Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney and I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 33 of Voice Lessons to the World, the show where we want to help you guys as singers by answering your questions from all over. And I'll give you a chance to ask questions later, but our question for this week comes from Verena T in Salzburg, Austria. And Verena writes, Dear Justin, I'm not tone deaf, but I have problems staying on pitch. Can you help me? Now, Verena, that's a great question because I'm sure so many singers out there struggle with staying on pitch, and so we need to address this. But I'm not going to address this in the way that you guys probably think because there's a tip that I'm about to give you, which to me is actually one of the best possible tips that I could ever give away because singers and actually, unfortunately, even voice teachers make this mistake all the time, and that is putting pitch on the pedestal. Now, obviously, I'm not going to have you guys going out there on stage uh, singing way off key. That's not our goal. But the problem that people have is putting too much emphasis actually on staying on pitch. Now, clearly, one of our first steps as a singer is can we just match the pitches? Can we stay on pitch? But very soon after that, all the way till when you're an advanced elite singer, pitch should not be on the pedestal. If your goal is to try to stay on pitch as a singer, that's probably one of the worst possible focuses that you could have. And that just does not seem intuitive. That does does not seem right that, that I would be saying that to you, that we don't want to value pitch. But today, I would like to take pitch off its pedestal for you guys. Now, here's the reason why. If I put technique on the pedestal, pitch will soon follow. What people do all the time is they're trying to stay on pitch so much, pitch is on the pedestal, so maybe you can get up to the note, maybe you can sing perfectly in tune. But what manipulation did you have to do in your voice to get it on pitch? And that is causing big problems. So actually, often when we make technique number one in a voice lesson, a lot of times the pitch suffers. Maybe it's flat or sharp. If I make an adjustment to my breathing, to my larynx, to my jaw or tongue, to my resonance, to the vocal cords themselves, if I make one of these adjustments, oftentimes the pitch suffers for a little bit. Sometimes it's just a couple seconds. Sometimes it's a few minutes. Sometimes it might take a few days or a few weeks to try to fix a certain area of your voice that has been manipulated. But if you've got pitch on the pedestal, then you're just manipulating something to get to the note, and then you're gonna have problems long term. If you can be flat and sharp for me, if you can put technique as your number one and risk being flat or sharp, then very soon that pitch pitch will fix itself and then you're gonna have perfect technique and be on the right note. That is what we want. Let me give you a quick song example. If I'm trying to sing You Raise Me Up, the Josh Groban song, and I just sing it freely. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. Fine. But what if I have a problem that most singers would have up through here? You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. Now, I'm just straining a little bit on purpose so that you can see what I might end up doing if I hadn't coordinated those notes. What if I just took it away? Did that exact same approach, but took it away. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. I might go flat. I didn't have all that huh, so I might be flat. You raise me up. Whoa. But very soon, by singing free and loose and not pushed, I will get... Raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You you raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I will find the looseness and I will find the pitch. And that's what we want. So I'm going to give you guys a chance right now. I'm going to pick the simplest possible exercise I could ever give you. It's going to be one, three, five, three, one on a mum, just like this. Mum, 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 mum. We're going to go up and down. And I don't want you guys to focus on pitch. Even if you have pitch problems, Verena or anybody, even if you think you have pitch problems, you've got my permission. Let's sing wildly flat or sharp. Doesn't matter to me. Probably it won't be. But what I want you guys to focus on is a complete feeling of looseness. Breath low, loose jaw, loose tongue. 
Larynx free, resonance up here, all of that good stuff. I don't care if you're flat or sharp. I just want you to put technique and that free feeling as your number one. Throw pitch out for now. Pitch will follow, maybe even in this exercise. We'll see. Guys down here, mum, 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 mum. Ladies up here, mum, 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 mum. And here we go. Mum, 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 mum. Good. Technique first, pitch later. Mum, 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 mum. Good. Right. Good. Mum, 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 mum. Awesome. Mum, 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 mum. I did a flat one for you. Let's try it again. Mum, 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 mum. Nice. Good. technique first and like I say the pitches will follow I'm sure like I say you probably were right on most of those but when you're doing your exercises you're not on stage nobody cares you're working on technique you're not working on pitch try to be on pitch but techniques number one pitch is number two now just real brief I want to give you some practical ways to really answer your question uh, Verena uh, couple things I recommend while you're practicing. Practice with an instrument. That's going to really help you to stay on pitch. If you're just practicing a cappella, you could go off pitch and not know it. So that's a, that's a way to actually fi fix pitch if that's what you're trying to do. The other thing is make sure you're recording your voice lessons. If you're just taking the exercises and having your voice teacher work with you and then trying to remember what it was, you may be having pitch problems because you're not listening back to the adjustments that your teacher was making. The next thing is make sure that you're practicing or you're recording your practices as well. So if you're if you do a practice, listen back. If you had technique as your number one, were you on pitch or weren't you? You can go right back and verify if you are recording what you're doing. And then like I said, just be patient with what technique can bring to your pitches. If you make technique your number one, I just guarantee the pitches will follow. But as you're working on this with your teacher and uh, on your own, just make sure you have some way to verify whether you actually are on pitch so that our final product isn't you guys going out on stage uh, and singing flat and sharp, but perfectly on pitch and with great technique. So Verena and all, I hope that's been helpful for you guys today as singers. If you have questions that you'd like to see us answer on the show, you can send an email to questions at voicelessonstotheworld.com. And we just encourage you not to lose that joy, don't lose that passion, don't let people tell you you can't sing, and don't let them tell you you can't sing on pitch. You know what to do to fix it. Find a great voice teacher in your area, and if you guys are in New York City, you can check us out at www.newyorkvocalcoaching.com. And if you like these videos, you can visit www.voicelessonstotheworld.com. I'm Justin Stoney, we'll see you next time.